Thank you for tuning in. Before I start this video, I just want to wish uh, all of you a happy end of 2017, as well as a happy new year as uh, 2018 is right around the corner. And just thank you for continuing to follow along and share comments. But the point of this video is I wanted to share some correspondence that I've had with a Drone Maps user. Uh, Drone Maps is an app I released about a month ago that lets you view uh, sectional charts as well as notams, temporary flight restrictions, all of that uh, if you're out in the field or just for pre-flight planning to be able to see uh, airspace around a desired location. And this user had reached out to me just saying that uh, the sectional chart data that I had was incorrect. And just so you guys understand, I pulled this from the FAA's GIS site and I believe there are 50 to 60 different areas that are covered that I tile together and each one of those areas updates uh, I think twice a year every six months so there's a good chance that things are being updated I try to work on uh, keeping these sectionals updated uh, just by checking once a week and then uh, pushing the new imagery out so uh, that being said he was studying for his part 107 there is a question about uh, the floor of Class B airspace around Addison Airport. And let's just go ahead and take a look there. One of the uh, cool things about drone maps is if you're studying for your Part 107 or just uh, have an airport in interest because you're, you're near it, you can just enter the airport name. In this case, I'm going to add, enter Addison Airport. I'll click Search. And that should direct us uh, to Addison Airport. Then what I'll do is I'll turn on the uh, sectional layer. You can see here the Class D airspace up to and not including 3000 MSL and then uh, Class B from 2500 to 110 MSL. So uh, this is the area in question and I have uh, basically the reference links that this user was uh, referencing. He was uh, doing some online study and as you guys know there's lots of resources as it relates to this so uh, here's the question as he was going through the test the floor of class b airspace at addison airport is you highlight over it says 3000 feet msl and figure 26 which is uh, this figure right here if you look at this area you'll notice a difference uh, in the ring right and the current sectional data you can see that that ring actually comes all the way down and you know still class D up to but not including 3000 feet MSL but if you look at the floor of class B since this ring is opened up see all of this area uh, the floor of class B is 3000 uh, feet MSL so according to this question and answer and the uh, sectional reference here, this is actually correct. And the point I want to make is this is actually out of date. This is an older uh, sectional that this uh, guy was studying from. Now, if you look at a more recent uh, exam question pool, this is from 3D Robotics. They have a great uh, online resource. And you can see the question here. Instead of the 3,000 feet MSL, the correct answer is 2,500 feet. We'll look at the uh, sectional. And you can see in here, once again, this line comes down and class D up to, not including 3,000 feet. And once again, 2,500 feet uh, to 11,000. Let me just mention if you guys are uh, cheap like I was, I didn't uh, take an online course. There are many of them out there and I'm not saying that they're bad. I just prefer to uh, study on my own. One of the best resources that I found was this King School's uh, test pool. They have a lot of different questions and you can specify the number of questions you want in the exam as well as the different categories. Click start test and go through it and it's it's really a great resource. Um, I took it probably I don't know a couple dozen times uh, in addition to the studying that I had done previously. Uh, they do a great job of randomizing the questions so uh, definitely check that out. And once again uh, please check out Drone Maps. It's free. I'm just trying to share it and continue to make it better. It's available on iOS as well as uh, Android. And this feature of just being able to uh, type in an airport, you can actually use uh, airport codes. For example, let me just give an example. SFO. We'll search. 
and it should take us to uh, San Francisco. I like going to these uh, busy airports, typing in the code and just seeing if I can understand everything uh, in the area. The other a cool thing that I like to do is as we were traveling to uh, West Texas over the Christmas holiday, I pulled up drone maps. Your little blue beacon icon will track over the sectionals. And uh, on I-10, see I-10 here. I don't know actually where this is, but uh, you can see uh, the various obstacles. A lot of the times these are towers. And it was just neat to sort see your blue beacon icon and, and look at the tower and try to figure out the height. Uh, in this case, you can see uh, 1690 MSL, 260 AGL, and some of these towers are really tall, so it's uh, pretty crazy to see a 600-foot uh, tower just along the road. It's a great way to, to just learn and, and keep up to date uh, with being able to read these charts. Just wanted to uh, share that quick update with you guys. I'll put links to both the Android and iOS version below. Please feel free to download and uh, give me any sort of feedback or suggestions. And once again, I wish you guys all the best uh, for the rest of this year and as we kick 2018 off. Thank you for the uh, continued support. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And until next year, thanks for watching.